Welcome to Math Made Easy with Frida. Today we will be solving this exponential equation in a very simple way how to solve it. Find the roots of this equation. There are three values of x we have to find. Let's get started. We have your m to the power of 3 plus m squared is equal to 150. So this equation, the highest power is 3. That means there are three solutions. By simple substitution, let's say, let's start with m is equal to 1. I don't think that will work because 1 plus 1 it will be 2, and this is a number 150. m is equal to 2. That's too small also. Let's try m is equal to 3. That will give me 36. m is equal to 4. Okay, let's try m is equal to 4. Seems to be something close to 150. All right. Uh, let's see. 4 cubed into 4 squared which gives me um 64 plus 16 that's you know, not near 150 let's just try one more m is equal to 5 all right which will give me 5 cubed plus 5 squared 5 cubed is 125 and 5 squared is 25 and i think i got one solution 150 so we found one solution where m is equal to by trial and error. All right. And let's write this equation m cubed plus m squared minus 150 is equal to zero. I solved a similar equation just yesterday and I'll be doing this one more time just to practice these kind of uh, math, math problems, exponential equations, so you get used to it. All right. So let's start it. Let's get started. We write the equation down and we know one of the solutions is m is equal to 5. That means that means m minus 5 should be part of this. All right. That means we had m minus 5 into an equation gave me m cubed plus m squared minus 150. What is this equation? We can divide by m minus 5, divide by m minus 5, and we will find this equation. So let's divide m cubed plus m squared minus 150 by m minus 5 using long division. We have m minus 5, m cubed plus m squared plus, we need a space for m to the power of 1 where there was nothing, minus 150. We always remember this when we do long division. We need spaces for each of the exponents. All right, so we start here, we get m squared and we have m cubed minus 5m squared. We subtract and we get 6m squared. Bring the zero down. What would give me 6m squared? M squared, 6m. 6m into m minus 5 gives me 6m squared minus 6 fives are 30m minus plus cancels and I get 30m minus 150. How do I get rid of that? I have to add 30 and we get 30m minus 1. 50 when I subtract this this cancels and I have no remainder that's good so this equation comes here so let's solve this equation m squared plus 6m plus 30 let's solve it using the quadratic formula where a is equal to 1 b is equal to 6 and c is equal to 30. First, let's find b squared minus 4ac. So b squared is 6 squared minus 4 into 1 into 30, which is 36 minus 120, which gives me negative 84. Okay, the square root of negative 84 is, shows that there are no real solutions. The solutions are going to be imaginary numbers. So let's get into it. Let's write down the factors of 84 to help us out as we move forward, which will be 2, 42, 2, 21, and 3 and 7. So the factors of 84 are 2 squared into 21. All right, keep that in mind. Let's get into the value of m. m will be equal to negative b, which will be negative 6, plus or minus 
the square root of negative 84, which will be the square root of negative 84 over 2a, 2a is 2. Negative square root of negative 84, let's solve it here. Here we know that i is equal to square root of negative 1. That's your imaginary number. So that's the square root of negative 1 into square root of 84, which is i into square root of 84 is 2 root 21. Fine. So this will be equal to negative 6 plus or minus 2 root 21 i, imaginable i, over 2. Now this cancels and we get the 3 here. So your m will be equal to negative 3 plus or minus root of 21 i. And those are the two solutions, remaining two solutions. The three solutions are m is equal to 5 and these are the other two solutions. If you enjoyed this video please give me a thumbs up and if you want to practice every day please subscribe to my channel as i post every day till next time have a nice day